Hello everyone, Callie here with another tech tutorial for you today. We are discussing how to make you a PNG tuber right now. And you could also use this for other people you're streaming with. So there will be a reactive image on your stream while they are talking. It's pretty amazing. It's also very easy to set up. So let's get to it. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to discordreactiveimages.fuji.tech. Looks like this fancy website. Click login and authorize your fancy login for Discord. So you make sure you can log into Discord. Now you're going to have a website that looks like this. Now I already have one previously set up. This is my channel art, as you can see here. But this doesn't look too good when it's on someone's stream. So what you want to do is click new image. Go find an image on your computer. I have this one already set up. You can use any image at all. And hit OK. Now I'm going to take that same exact image. Do it again. And I'm going to have this. I'm going to have a save for both. So this is going to be my reactive image. Now you're going to see some links over here. There's one for a group browser source and then uh, your own here that you're going to want to give to people uh, to utilize. So you're going to give them this link here. You'll hit copy and use this as your browser source. Now down here at bounce effect is generally one you're going to want because it gets people's attention. This is usually what a lot of people do. And you could include your own image in group view as well if you want. Personally, I'm not going to use that because I have a VTuber model, but still going to do this. A couple other options here. And so to show you all how it works, we're going to copy this link. And then we are going to go over to Streamlabs. So we are in a window that is just recording this. Got this new scene. Obviously add it to your scene however you want, but we're going to just add it here. So we're going to add a new source, browser source. Add source, new source, Cali PNG Uber. Add source. You're going to paste that link I gave you right here. And you're going to hit done. You're going to say, well, Cali, there's not, nothing there. We'll just put it somewhere you want it and we'll adjust it in a bit. So what you have to do is go log on to any voice channel in Discord. Ready? Go. Voila! Look at that. Now obviously you'll want to put it in a space that's uh, appropriate. As you can see here, it bounces when I talk. And this is basically what a lot of people have set up. If you don't want it to bounce when you're talking, and you just want it to light up, you could disable that option. But that's all there is to it. Y'all freaking did it. So for anyone that you are streaming with, all you have to do is get them to go to this website. Okay, that's all you have to do. Have them do the same process and give you their browser source. Once they give that to you, you could put their image on here. And when they talk in your mutual Discord voice channel, it will work for them just like this. So. That's it for me, team. I hope this was helpful to you. It's super easy, and I really think that you will be able to improve your streaming journey immediately without a huge investment. So if this video was helpful to you, let me know down in the comments below. Hit that like button so other people can find it. Thanks, team, and I will see you next time. Hey, friend, thanks for watching that video. If you'd like to watch other videos from me, click the links on screen right now. Or if you would like to visit me in any of my other portals, check the links in the description below and consider watching me on twitch.tv slash Chronicles, where I live stream all the time. Thanks again, and I hope you have an awesome rest of the day. Bye for now.